Hi, I'm Psychic Tana Hoy, and thank you for joining me today. Today is November 10th, and here's your psychic development tip for today. Um, I wanted to talk about something a little interesting. I don't know if you remember a couple of days ago, I taught you how to use a tarot deck to kind of figure out or find out how your day is going to go, and even finding out a lot of times at the end of the day that it actually refers to or answers something you had faced that day. Well, another really common thing that I think is interesting that people often want to know, they often ask me, Tana, does the death card in the tarot deck mean that I'm going to die or someone's going to die? That's a really common question, and I thought this was a really good time to address this. Now, of course, you all know I'm 21 years old, so it's really difficult, but i got to put my glasses on young and being 21 having to wear glasses but anyway I get my glasses on and I happen to have the death card here with me remember when I taught you about using the quick and easy tarot deck well this is the death card I don't know if you can see it there but it looks kind of uh scary you can see the man here it's it's the devil and he's got the pentagram above his head and uh two slaves on each side of him in chains and so it's a pretty scary card he's got wings he doesn't look very uh very happy. But see, actually, the death card is not about death. Uh, the death card, here's what it says. Let me read it to you. It symbolizes change or the death of something, not the death of a person. Uh, denotes a greedy, materialistic, or selfish person. It's kind of evil, so that's why the evil image here. Uh, disregard for others. Beware of someone who tries to control you. It says, you are caught in an unhealthy situation. Hmm, not very good. Uh, the card of sexual perversity and dark secrets. Well, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending how you look at it, right? <laughs> and let's see here. Uh, sexual addiction, interesting. Overspending, substance abuse, compulsions. Uh, judge people by their values, not their outside appearance. The, the upside down meaning, inability to make decisions, looking for an easy score or a quick get rich quick scheme, um, tendency to be aggressive, violent and angry, manipulative, controlling, Ooh. Uh, cruel and sadistic personality, that's not good. Uh, Self-understanding and personal improvement is possible with effort. Money trouble. Well, also the traditional meaning of the card, of the death card, is about change. So it means all those things, but it usually can also mean the death of something, uh, the ending of something, the death of a bad relationship, the death or ending of a job, the death or ending of something that's not good for you. I know me in movies in Hollywood, of course, you know, we can believe everything about Hollywood, especially love stories. We all know that that's how love ends, right, and begins, you know, happy ever after. Oh, well, since it's Hollywood, you get my point. Well, in Hollywood, what they do is, you know, they use the death card to mean death. But no, I, I am not a tarot reader. I study the tarot cards. I find them fascinating. I love tarot. I don't think they're always so accurate. Depending, Well, they can be, but they could be misinterpreted. So if you get a tarot reading and the reader reads it wrong, uh, they can, it changes the whole meaning. There's a common thing with tarot readings. That's why they aren't always very accurate. So I don't recommend having tarot readings. But the death card is, uh, I, is about change. It doesn't mean death. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Now, I recommend tarot readings for yourself, like your, your, your sense of the day, like the thing that I taught you how to get a feel or tone for the day. And I'm not saying tarot readings are all bad. There's some very good tarot readers. So please don't understand me. Tarot people out there, don't attack me. I'm just voicing what I think and have found out about tarot. There are good tarot readers. But I like to use them for getting the tone of the day. And they're just an interesting study with a very rich history. So... Hope that answers your question about the death card. Hope you've thought about that question before. And if you haven't, I'm sure you have now that you're watching the video, right? Okay, thank you so much for taking time with me today. Don't forget to visit my website, www.tanahoy.com. Join me on Facebook. And don't forget to join my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, go to my website at tanahoy.com. And right on the front, you'll see a little space that says Free Psychic Newsletter. Go ahead and put your name and email address there, and I'll put you on my list. Don't worry about spam. 
I hate spam as much as you do, so I don't sell, trade, or give your email address to Nadia, anybody. Okay? Thank you very much for spending time with me today. God bless. Have a beautiful day, okay? I hope it's sunny wherever you are. Bye-bye.